Well, this is Athens Aviation, then, now, next. We're here at Ben Epps Airport today in Athens, Georgia to explore the important beginnings of aviation right here in Georgia, where Ben Epps was an early aviator and inventor of the early aircraft right along with the Wright brothers. And then we'll go over to the library later today and we'll see a film about the world's smallest airport, the Thrasher Brothers Aerial Circus. And then we have what's happening today. Did you know there are people still building airplanes out at Ben Epps Airport? So the Experimental Aircraft Association is here to show you their aircraft. You'll have a chance to look at the enormous fire and rescue truck and there are children's activities in the children's room and a lot of people will get a chance to go up to the control tower today. This is a production aircraft, uh, the Civil Air Patrol airplane. Uh, is the Cessna 172 as well. The uh, rest of the airplanes that are out here are actually home-built aircraft. Um, they're guys in our EAA chapter, the Experimental Aircraft Association, that have, have built these in their basements and garages. Um, also, Jim Sellers, Murphy Moose over here. Uh, it's one of the largest home-built kits that, that are available. And then also, we've got Cecil Ogilvy's Glass Star over here. Uh, Cecil built it a few years back and it's pretty neat. It's a, it's a combined aluminum and composite construction. And Charlie Beard's Long Easy over there, it's been flying for 25 years. My name is Charlie Beard. I built this airplane in the basement of the house. It took seven years to build. It's been flying 25 years. Uh, test flew it here in uh, November of 1987 with the family watching. It was uneventful. When you park it, the pilot gets out. The nose is very light and you have to retract the gear and park it down in this position for it not to go on its back. It's been a joyous experience to build a plane and fly. Enjoy the walk, take your time yeah. going up. Typically the FAA's mission statement is the safe expeditious flow of air traffic. And we just kind of, you know, we got guys leaving and taking off. We kind of sequence them into the runways and make sure the runways are clear of any debris or other aircraft. Just kind of guide guide people in and out of the airport and make sure that the runway area is clear. Pat Epps, the uh, baby boy of the Ben Epps family. Mother and daddy had 10 children, and uh, nine of us 
made, made adulthood. And all of us were in the military, the boys, and five of us military pilots, transports. I don't, uh, we didn't fly jets until we uh, got out into the civilian world. And it was, of course, a tremendous inventor built, designed, built, and flew eight airplanes. The one overhead, of course, is noted as the first airplane in Georgia, and I question whether it even got off the ground. <laughs> His first airplane, 1907, uh, then the Benefs, 1909, then the biplane, 1916, uh, then in 1916, uh, ben Epps built a white monoplane, uh, Ben Epps white biplane, A uh, Rosenbauer Panther. It's a four-wheel drive uh, fire truck. Carries 1,500 gallons of water, 200 gallons of uh, foam concentrate. We can uh, refill the truck uh, four times on one load of uh, foam concentrate. Chief Master Sergeant Thomas Hall. I'm Cadet Airman First Class Wynn. Just tell me a little bit about the Civil Air Patrol. I'm not familiar with it. It's part of the Air Force Auxiliary, and it's, yeah. it really helps uh, people under 18, you know, kind of just get ready for the Air Force and uh, the military in general. It's, it's cool to come here and see all the Sometimes the military, like uh, helicopters and planes, will land out here, so it's really cool to see that when you see a P2. We get yeah. to come out here every Tuesday. Very cool. Yeah. There was a Black Hawk here one time. I wasn't at that mm. Black Hawk. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Yeah. It was the first airport in the state of Georgia, home of Georgia's first aviator and aircraft. We have 130 based aircraft, we're averaging 90 flights a day, 33,000 per year. We have two runways on the airport, and we're getting ready to build a new commercial terminal. I'm here to introduce Grady Thrasher. Grady Thrasher that we'll meet today is the son of the Grady Thrasher who, made, who uh, invented this aerial circus. Uh, back in 1945. We started, uh, just how did this come about? Um, when, when all of this was going on, uh, my father had a little wind-up Bell and Howell 8mm camera. It's one of these where you had to literally wind it, and then you could take about 10 or 15 seconds worth of film and then wind it up again. And so uh, all of this was in a box when my parents uh, passed away, and. I tried to preserve it and I was encouraged to write a story about it, which I did. It was in Flagpole a couple of years ago. And then Pete McCummins encouraged me to do something else. Uh, fortunately, I met Matt who knows how to do this kind of thing and he 
uh, basically synchronized uh, all of our old 8mm films with some good music. <laughs>